You know, there's been so much focus on the Big Island and the yeah. damage there from Tropical Storm Izel, but... That, we forget that Maui was affected as well. How's it, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And at a time when uh, we're hearing from Washington that the feds don't think the uh, damage was worth a federal disaster declaration, uh, it may be worthwhile to take a look at some of the damage we're talking about and hear from a rancher who has to do something about it. You know, most of what we've been discussing about storm damage from Izel has focused on the Puna side of the Big Island. And, and that's okay. That's where most of the damage was. But it's not the exclusive site of the damage. We're on Maui, and there was a lot of storm damage here. Take a look at just this one tree that was blown down during Izel here at Ulupalakua Ranch. And it's not the only tree that was blown down by Ezel. There's stuff like this all over Ulupalakua Ranch. Sumner Erdman's here. He's going to explain some of this to us. What, what kind of damage did you get besides trees blown down? Um, we lost two sheds, the one right behind us, obviously, that the tree ran on uh, or fell on, and then another one that blew down in the storm that people have seen in photos. Um, we do have a couple other buildings that are probably not going to make it just because of the structural damage they got. A lot of our residences, about seven of our employees' residences, ha actually have roof damage. Most of it's superficial, but some of it a little bit more extensive. Lost roof off our stables. Um, probably the biggest damage, though, we received is just this. Trees down all over the place. There's easily a thousand trees on the ranch that are down, um, anywhere from eucalyptus to wattle to uh, some koas, some norfolks. Um, many of which have fallen on fences and we're we have miles and miles of fence that has been destroyed and, 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 and that's important because you've got to have those fences we have to have those fences right now some of our herds really have no rotation usually we have them on a rotation of 16 to 30 pastures um, some of those herds right now really only have two or three pastures it, they're a lot bigger than they used to be but uh, with all the damage we just can't get to it in time or quick enough, and we're trying to get to it. We're starting. Uh, it's only been three weeks, and it took us two weeks of cleanup. So. Wow. What kind of role can uh, disaster relief from the state or the federal government do to uh, help you with this? Well, what we're really hoping for is uh, right now some farm service agency uh, cost share um, programs that, to help us with the cleanup and fencing. Um, and we're working with them. They've been working closely.